Oh, hello. <laughs> I washed my hair this morning. I just want a biscuit, biscuit, biscuit. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I keep looking at myself in the mirror, in the thing, because I look, I look kind of pretty today. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess, also known as the Fat Funny One. And hi. If you've watched any of my videos, you'll notice I'm in a new space. So this is, we've historically called it the wardrobe room because ultimately it's a wardrobe or a closet if you're in America. Um, but I um, really needed somewhere quiet to film and particularly voiceovers and podcast recordings. So I am in here. So I've got like all the like laundry stuff there. Let's move, we'll move you a little bit across so you don't have to sit there. There we go. Um, so all my clothes are there. I've got a new coat that I need to try on. Um, a little shovel for my prints. But, but yeah, basically, basically I'm in here. But that's not why I'm here to talk to you today. Um, if you have just joined uh, my channel and this is the first video you've clicked on, then welcome to the chaos. Um, there is just chaos here on my channel in my life um, I've got four children a dog two cats and a husband and yeah what to expect from my channel just loads of stuff I, I literally do everything today we're doing a shopping haul tomorrow it might be a get ready with me a budget video who knows who oh my phone oh it's told me oh I've achieved my standing goal. There we go. It's loads. You can expect loads. And so, yeah, I would really, really love it if you consider subscribing and joining me on this journey. I'm loving YouTube. My 2022 goal was to be consistent two videos a week. And by hook or by crook, I am actually getting there. Um, and we're in March. I did have a couple of weeks break, but that is because we all had COVID. So I kind of have let myself off with that one. But yeah, two videos a week, Wednesdays and Saturdays. Um, so, yeah, please do join me. So, let's get right into it i uh, have two birthdays this month so it is isabella's birthday well it was isabella's birthday this week she turned four and then it is jason's birthday or jj we call him jj or jason he is turning two next week so whenever this video comes out it might have already gone i was like we're not going to do much for their birthdays um we'll just do some family stuff our parents will come around we'll have some cake and stuff because both of their birthdays pretty much the majority of their lives jason particularly his whole life has been pandemic he doesn't know any different never had a chance to celebrate properly with friends and family so we just thought we'd just have a few family members around and then uh i started going to people oh my gosh you just come around on sunday or this like my uh, friend was like oh yeah we'll drop off a present i was like i'll just come around sunday now if So I've now ended up with this huge party of like 40 people, including kids. Then I got like in on myself and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to do party bags and food and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I went to B&M and Home Bargains this morning. I was like, right, I didn't go too crazy. Well, I did go a bit crazy. Actually, I bought a lot and I had the buggy. So I don't really know how I managed it. But I went a bit crazy and bought a bunch of party stuff. It is now Friday and the party's on Sunday. <laughs> and I've got a whole heap of cleaning to do. So I thought I would nip out um, this morning and try and get as much as I can. So let me show you what I got. What shop should I start with? Let's start with B&M because that's where I went. I also remembered my actual shopping bags. Oh, so why is this wet? Uh-oh something's leaking um i actually remembered my shopping bags this reusable bag is from primark um i think it was six pounds maybe i can't really remember i bought it a while ago um and then i bought i got this like white checkered red and white checker one that reminds me of my grandma um so yeah i actually remember shopping bags go me so in no particular order let's oh my god there's no space on my desk for this i bought this stuff it is like the crease crease release um i used it once i had some linen bed sheets and i used it on there and it genuinely is a game changer the only thing is please lord do not get this stuff on your floor if you've got wooden floors hardwood floors parquet flooring laminate flooring tiled floors listen don't get it on there you will slip trip and bust your lip like let's not so yeah i got this though it is brilliant and smells good so i got a bit of that um, and then I wasn't really sure what to do for party bags because it's family and not like a set like group of kids a certain age. So like if it's one child and you write all their school kids, like schoolmates, it's everyone's the same age, but it's cousins and family. So everyone's a different age. So I'm trying to, um, everyone's between three and 10. I'm trying to make party bags or whatever for them. So 
I got this so far. Crunchies. I'm going to open up these packets and then just chuck a scrunchie in and just do like big bags. So if some of the items are random, it's because they're going to get chucked in. Um, I found these lip gloss set, which I thought was super cute. So I'm going to again open this and put a lip gloss in each bag. I realise I've bought like a whole load of bunting. There's just going to be bunting everywhere. So some party bunting. Um, I've got, there's no theme for this party, just just it's gonna be like a 90s house like i don't know if anyone had birthday parties when they were younger at home in the 90s that's basically what it's gonna be here i'm gonna do cheese and pineapple in the little foil grapefruit I'm, i don't know if that's like a real british thing i'm gonna do a bunch of caribbean food we're going to costco anyway that's the vibe so if the colors and everything seem a bit off but also i think parties have become so like everyone wants them to be this beautiful aesthetically pleasing thing and that can't be for the kids like, i'm sure kids don't care and i'm guilty of it too but yeah i'm just chucking it all together it's family and friends and yeah it's gonna be fun okay completely unrelated i got this mainly because i see everyone with it on tiktok to sit in the sink trevor's gonna be like what in the world and then to go with the scrub daddy i got this i went for party supplies i went for party supplies um i got this bad boy which has got two scrub daddies in and then this like washing up liquid stuff uh, oh that's a scrub mummy i think i don't know anyway i've got this it's gonna go in there uh, i've got some some razors uh yeah for the, for the areas um i got this sponge i've seen it a few times i think i saw it on the shopping channel once it's wet why is it wet is it supposed to be i got this if anyone knows what this is or why i picked it up if you can enlighten me that would be great I got this which i think is pretty cool um you get in it you get some gummy mix some marshmallows some goodie bags some stickers and a little scoop so i'm gonna do like a little sweetie table which i thought would be really good i'm gonna get um more sweets from costco like a big tub of sweets um because i don't reckon this will have enough for everyone but like the paper bags and the scoop and stuff i loved the idea of this um so yeah i'm gonna just create a little pick a mix table for the kiddies bought some stickers um, I'm going to put these out. I'm going to do like a little arts and crafts table for the children. Um, so I thought I'd get some stickers and stuff um, so they can have a bit of fun at that. Some notebooks, which I don't know why. I think these are for party bags. You get three in a pack. But I realised I've only pick, picked up one pack and I needed like 12 and I've only got three. So that was, I don't know what I was doing this morning. Um, some old school birthday banners. These these are the banners from back in the day. Um so yeah i've got a few of them to put around the house and across the front door like that was that is how you went to parties back in the day there was like a banner on the front door and balloons so and that's how you knew that was your friend's house oh i got some vanish carpet care um the big carpet like big rug we haven't got any carpet downstairs but the big rug in the living room kids crushed some raspberries in it and i obviously cleaned it up but it's like stained the carpet so I thought I'd try this um, for a few spots of it. The problem is, though, I know what will happen. Clean those spots, and then you'll just have clean, like, really nice, clean, clean patches on all of your things. So, anyway, I'm going to try that and use my... I've got, like, a Vax carpet cleaner thing. See if that works. So, that was everything from B&M, and now I'll show you what I got from Home Bargains. Oh, my God! <laughs> I got um, some tablecloth. Um, these are linen feel tablecloths. I think they're like a pound or two pounds. More bunting because I clearly forgot I'd already bought it. You never have too much bunting and also you can always save it for another party. Picked up these ones for the kids. They were going on the arts and crafts table. I think they're really cute. The girls will really love these. Got some champagne flutes. I've obviously got glass ones but I've only got a couple. Um, so these are really good. I will wash them and reuse them if we can. Um, but we've got nothing like this at the minute so yeah i got some champagne flutes for like prosecco toasts and stuff like that it's a sunday afternoon you know i bought these little boxes i've shown them before i actually buy a massive multi-pack from um costco um normally and you would have seen that on my costco haul but these are really good for party bags they also take up loads of space which fill the bag up quite a lot um, and they're 25p a pack so really good value for money so yeah i got um a bunch of these i actually think i got more than i needed because mama likes them uh, plastic cups again i know it's single-use plastic but we will wash and reuse them because 
they're good but i just don't have enough glasses to go around for everybody one thing i will say and top tip have a marker pen near where your cups are so people can write their name on it this will obviously avoid people putting their drink down forgetting it's theirs not sure not wanting to drink out of it and then getting a new cup so yeah i keep a marker pen and will mark it i've got sippy cups for the kids like regular ones but for the adults i just don't have enough glasses to go around so we've got a bunch of these but yeah wash and reuse and mark a pen them with everybody's names um a bunch of multi-pack harry bows because is it really a birthday party without harry bows obviously not um just a little single packet so i've got some for the sweetie table and some for party bags i also got party rings because it definitely ain't a party without party rings like it's just not so a bag of these ones as well i do find individual packets just a bit easier easy to manage i know it's a lot of rubbish like packaging um but just i think having like open plan buffet food just mm, i'm a bit with the kids and fingers and stuff so i just think it's a little bit easier to have a packet that they can take away with them and then keep and um yeah yeah uh some straws i got some gold ones and i think i got some silver ones but i'm not sure and um, but straws i also have reusable straws not just paper straws which the adults can use but for the children i've got these ones because the reusable ones i've got a glass and i just uh -huh, kids glass straws yeah no then i may or may not have gone a bit wild in the uh balloon section so in our local home bargains they will blow up your balloons for you the helium balloons um for you but i have a helium tank which my friend has lent me so i'm going to use that but the lady in home bargains was lush and she just said look if um for any reason your helium tank doesn't work if it runs out just bring your receipt back on sunday just before the party and i'll blow them up for you so i bought a bunch of these so i got um uh some star ones i got a big i love this one it's like a sweetie happy birthday one peppa pig one and then i've got a number two for jj can't believe he's gonna be two and number four for bella she's just in for and then yeah just some like general happy well that one's for bella birthday go on um and then some happy birthday ones to go with the balloons i bought some balloon weights so i bought these these are just so cute so i bought them in silver and i got them in this like really pretty i don't know but again these can be used for like part over and over and over and over again for parties and um, what's really weird is i went on amazon and i was like okay let's just do a quick amazon haul and these were for a pack of 10 i think like 12.99 or 15.99 which i was so close to buying and they were 60 pence in home bargains and obviously you can use them loads and loads um and I just think sometimes the convenience of Amazon makes you forget that things can be cheaper in an actual shop. So yeah, I'm really pleased. So I've bought 12 of these. So they will go on the end of these balloons and I've just got some regular balloons um, to put around the house and then so that the kids can take some away from um, away with them at home time as well. Like a balloon with like a little ribbon. I didn't get any ribbon. Next thing I got, I don't even know what these are. These are old party dinosaur horns. Um, <laughs> They're like, put this high is going to be such a throwback. You know the ones you go, ha, ha. I don't know if I just tried to do an impression. Um, I then got these. They are so cute. They're bath bombs. They were 90p or 99p. And I've got these for the older girls for their party bags because I thought they were so cute. Um, it's a bath fizzer. Um, but because it comes like pre-packaged, it just looks so much more expensive. Um, and I think in the like big bag with like a scrunchie, a lip gloss, a little bath fizz, some snacks, like I think it's gonna be super cute. So um yeah i bought a couple of these these i got um they are unicorn treat cups i thought they'd be really great for ice cream i'm gonna do like an ice cream um station like an ice cream sundae station i know it sounds like i'm doing a lot but actually once these things are laid out it's super easy because it's just sprinkles a few sauces and a tub of ice cream and some scoops so yeah they can have like a little ice cream sundae station um, and i got these um for them I think are super cute and the right portion size stickers i got a whole bunch of stickers these come in like little packets they're like the cutest and i've got these to go in the party bags and um, so i got a range of all different ones i got dinosaurs unicorns animals all sorts and um, i think these are 59p or two packets for a pound something like that um but yeah i love 
I love these. I think they're super cute. I did try and get ones like for some of the older girls. Um, but I guess I didn't want to get them like unicorn or like farm animal ones. Um, so they've got like these really cute love heart ones. I love stickers and I'm like big, big in my face. Lol, how random. I got some Astonish Oxy Cleaner. Trevor asked me to get it. The pink, the pink what's it called the pink stuff that cleaning product they had one of these and it was like a tiny tub for 249 and this massive tub was 299 so no brainer so i got a bunch of that that was a trip I'm having guests around so obviously i'm gonna deep clean the house like absolute crazy but i bought these for the two bathrooms i love unstoppables though and I love Febreze the unstoppables i used the turquoise color ones in the wash for like bed sheets and stuff and it smells so good i did this is how extra i am because i knew everyone was coming on sunday i've stripped all my sofa and deep cleaned all the sofa put all the sofa cushions cushion covers in the wash and i used the unstoppables and it smells so amazing so yeah i bought a couple of these to go in each bathroom you want your house to be smelling nice and fresh um i found some more tablecloths i really should have written it down and had a list and i think that is everything I've just got um, the Costco shop to do and then obviously ribbon, which I'm actually just going to end up ordering from Amazon. So, yeah, that was me moaning about price, but convenience sometimes, got to pay. I'm really looking forward to seeing friends and family. This is the first time everyone will be around our new house as well um, and us hosting anything here, which is really cool. Although we're like part renovation um, and the scaffolding goes up today. So we're going to have scaffolded all down the side of our house. Um so it's going to be an interesting one but anyway it is what it is thank you so much for watching i hope that gave you a bit of a i don't know idea of what to get in home bargains and b&m if you're having a party so yeah i hope you're doing well have a wonderful wonderful day whatever else you're doing thank you for watching especially if you've got this far it honestly means the world um and if you haven't already click that notification button and subscribe um so you don't miss any future videos so thanks for tuning in take care bye